we only want to use just a little bit, a comically small amount, right? That's far too much. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. Today, I'm going to teach you how to get the perfect seasoning for your carbon steel pan. So if you want to get the perfect sear on your steak, your eggs to slide across the pan, you're gonna need a great seasoning as well. We're gonna cover all of that today. Here's what you'll need. Soap, a sponge, a few paper towels, high smoke point oil, and your carbon steel pan. Many manufacturers say you want to clean this for about three to five minutes. I say put on a good TV show, give the crazy dog a good chew toy, maybe get some squats in while you wash because you're going to be there for a little while, maybe about 10 minutes. What you're going to be checking for, you're going to be spot checking, is to make sure that this oil is actually off as you're cleaning it. I'm not worried about using an abrasive sponge, for instance, at this point because we really want to get to that base layer and get off any gunk or anything that you really can't see as well. All right, first things first, the water that we want to use is really going to be as warm as you can bear. Don't burn yourself now. By the way, we're going to be focusing mostly on the actual body of the pan, and not worried about the handle as much. We've been at this for a few minutes here, and what I like to do is a spot check every now and then and see where we are with the manufacturing oil still being on this pan. So I like to take a paper towel and just do a quick swipe here. And so it's just, just a little bit left. So what we're gonna do is maybe give this thing another minute or two, and then we'll be ready to roll and the tough part is over. We passed the, the, the quick spot check here. And now the most important thing is to make sure we get this thing bone dry and make sure that it gets pretty warm, probably about medium to low heat. We're gonna let this thing sit here for roughly four minutes or so. Just make sure that there's nothing else evaporating uh, from the pan itself and you'll be good to go. All right, let's talk about oil. So, things to look out for. One, stay with the flavor neutral oil, like stay away from coconut oil, for instance. Uh, you also want an oil that has a high smoke point. So stay away from low smoke point oils like an olive oil. If you're in a grocery store and you're looking at oils and you're trying to figure out what that uh, smoke point is, it's typically on the front of the, um, the label there. So uh, they try to make it very, very clear for you. So it should be easy to find. So my favorite oil in the world is grapeseed oil. And uh, the reason I like grapeseed oil is because the smoke point is pretty high. It's at 425 to about 450, depending on uh, who the manufacturer is. Uh, but then also it's very cheap. It's easy to find. You can find it in just about any grocery store. Uh, but there's also other ones that are out there. So you have canola oil, vegetable oil, uh, some soybean oils that are really good out there, even some beeswax recipes. So your pan, it's still warm. It's the, uh, the start of the show here. I'm gonna grab some paper towels as well because we're gonna need quite a bit of them from this point forward. So here is something that is extremely important and the key to all of this, okay? And you're about halfway done now. You want to put a comically small amount of oil on here, okay? So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And you're going to take your paper towel and make sure you get everything coated. So growing up, I constantly remember my dad wiping my face because I always put too much lotion on my face and saying, you are so greasy. Please be like my dad. Wipe all this excess grease off of this pan to where it looks like it's dry because you can't make it completely dry. All right, get the scrub in again. No more greasy, right? Now we're gonna go and officially season this bad boy. So there's two things that we can do. We can either go the oven method or we can go stovetop which is my favorite. This method is ideal for folks with a gas range. The reason why is because you want the flames to really go on the outside of the, outside of the walls there. Uh, if you have an electric or induction, that's really tough to do. So oven is probably where you need to stick, but we have the perfect size one. It's a 10 inch carbon steel pan. It's gonna look great on this range. Let's get going. 
We are now at the easiest part to me. What I did was go ahead and put this thing on a medium heat. The reason why is because we don't want to shock the metal. We know that eventually we're going to want to get it to high. Reason being is we want to get past the smoke point, which is 425 for the grapeseed oil that I have. All we're going to do is sit here and let it come up to, to, to the high heat. One way to really make sure that everything is getting heated evenly, even the outsides, got to give love to the, to, to, the, to the outside of the pan here, is to rotate it just a little bit. Make sure that it's getting nice and hot. Now, here's a pro tip and something I think is extremely important. Like we talked about, be like my dad. Right now, you'll start noticing oil will start to bead um, if you have excess. Regardless, if you see beading or not, go ahead and wipe it down. Remember, the pan is hot. Please don't burn yourself. So all I'm doing is wiping off excess here, but just the inside. And like I said, eventually we're gonna get to high heat. Those flames are really gonna start going around it. We'll start to see the pan smoke just a little bit here. Remember that, you know, we just put a little bit of oil on here, so there shouldn't be much, much smoke at all, especially if you have a light uh, backsplash, it's gonna be tough to see. If you do have a lot of smoke, uh, that means that you probably put way too much oil on there. Like if smoke is billowing out of here, then that's probably not a good sign. Um, and you're probably going to have a, a, a sticky pan there. But um, this one is, is pretty much starting to smoke. It should be just about done. This one is done. This bad boy has one uh, layer of seasoning on it. You can cook with this right now. And actually, the more you cook with it and the more fats and the proteins that you use that start getting into this pan will help it with its seasoning. So what we're gonna do is get started with some bacon. You are welcome. First, I'm gonna put the bacon on to the carbon steel pan while it's still all around the same temperature. Reason being, we wanna add cold bacon to a cold pan so that the fat can render. Let's go ahead and get on the stove what I am talking about. And you can already notice that this pan is really starting to, to catch some of this oil and season quite well, especially on the outsides too. So can't wait to get this thing wiped down and take a look at it. All right, y'all. So this thing, I can already tell, is starting to get a beautiful season. This is the ideal way to season a pan, right? So we've had a couple of coats of pre-season and then we went ahead and, and used a fatty uh, protein to get this thing started and it looks absolutely great. Actually, I'm gonna save some of this fat so that uh, we can make some good old biscuits later, right? Who doesn't like that? So what I assume is this, I'm gonna save some of this fat, right? And my assumption is that we're gonna have some bits that are kind of cooked on. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. Wipe off any excess here, right? So um, wipe down your pan. And now it's really revealing, you know, that beautiful glossy layer. All right, so it looks like this, you see some bits. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is put about a half inch of water and that's it, and then boil it for a little bit back on the stove. This is gonna help release some of those pieces. Now for the pieces that are really, really stuck on, I'm gonna use a wooden utensil, something pretty soft, um, just so I can start scraping those bits off. We're, we're pretty good to go here. We let this cool down quite a bit. Um, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and dump this out. This is not oil, so it's not going to, not that much oil, so it's not gonna uh, damage anything here. And then we're gonna bring this back and wipe this out one more time here. Now, if you get to this point and you notice that um, it's looking a little dry like it is, what I'm gonna do is actually go back to the stove, put it on a just very low amount of heat, let this sit here and evaporate any water that we can't see, and uh, I'm gonna wipe it down. Put just a little bit of oil on it and let it sit there, let it relax for a while. Now this isn't necessarily seasoning. We're not waiting for it to get to a spoke point or anything, we're just coating it here, all right? This is the shine that we're looking for. This is how we expected our piece to be seasoned correctly. Um, so now, you know, if you want that good sear on your steak, your fried egg to slide around, you have the pan to do it now and you're ready to roll. Three things. One, if you get a new pan, make sure to really scrub it. Give yourself the best chance of success by getting rid of any excess oil 
um, any uh, uh, anything that you can't really see, right? Go ahead and scrub it out. And make sure before you oil it, make sure you always dry your pan after using water. Uh, that's gonna give you a great chance of success as well. And then finally, what I would say is, um, make sure when you're cooking with this thing, always check it out and see, you know, did I lose a little bit of seasoning? Is it, is it time for me to, to season again? The last thing we want is really a dry pan. So always keep your eye on it. Just like we did with this one. We got finished cooking, uh, we cleaned it out and we noticed it was a little bit dry. Just put a little bit of oil on it before you uh, store it in this parking lot. Thank you for your time. This was absolutely fun. We got a banging pan that we were really hoping to get. Please send this to everyone that you think has a carbon steel pan or needs a carbon steel pan so you get them going on the right foot. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Like and subscribe, all that jazz. We look forward to bringing you more information about carbon steel pans. Talk to y'all later.